the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My name is Father Deshaun from Melbourne, Australia. I offer this Mass in a special manner for all your personal intentions that, that you carry in, in your hearts and thanking Our Lady for giving us this opportunity to be here. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Father, you have given us the mother of your Son to be our mother also. Grant us that by obeying the appeals of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always work through prayer and penance for the kingdom of Christ and attain eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice score from the throne. You see this city? Here God lives among men. He will make his home among them. They shall be his people, and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There will be no more death and no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke. Now I am making the whole of creation new. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are the highest honor of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth, and may the God, the Lord God, be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. The highest honor of our race. race. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, for shall, but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You are the highest honor of our race. race. God grant you to be always held in honor and rewarded with blessings, since you did not consider your own life when our nation was brought to its knees. You are the highest honor of our race. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believe that the promise made you by the Lord will be fulfilled. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to, then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. How privileged we are to be in this place where Mary, the mother of God, chose to appear to those three young children, uh, Jacinta, Francisco, and, and Lucia. I'd like to reflect briefly on the fact that she did appear to children in the first place and also very briefly reflect on the basic message that she gave uh, to those children. 
Firstly, the fact that Mary chose children. We, we see that Mary tends to favor appearing to young uh, children. If we think of St. Bernadette Suberu, for example, in Lutz, and the case of Fatima, uh, Mary appeared to people, children who were, ve were very young, perhaps because of their innocence and their closeness to God. And children have certain um, characteristics which we are asked to imitate. If you recall the words of, of Jesus, unless you become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. What sort of characteristics have you asked to, refer, to imitate in children? Perhaps if you call to mind just a couple of characteristics. Firstly, the great trust that children have in, in others. If you think of how much children trust their, their parents, uh, for example, they don't question their parents, where the parents are taking them. If the parents are, if they're with their parents, they're happy. And, and they trust that their parents will only take them to places that are good. Perhaps we can imitate that with God, realizing that God as our Father will only lead us to places that are good and to have great childlike trust in, in God. A second characteristic of children, if, if you notice when they are doing something, whether it's play or any sort of, of work, they give their entire attention to, to that task. They, they're totally absorbed in what they are doing. Perhaps we could imitate that too. As, as adults, we often get distracted or worried about what's going to happen tomorrow or the day after or what's happening with someone else. And we often aren't fully absorbed in the tasks that, that God gives us. Perhaps we could, next time we see a child at, at play, to look at the total attention that child gives to that task. And perhaps we could imitate that child um, as well. So perhaps keep those two characteristics in mind, the fact that children are profoundly trusting and children are totally absorbed in what they do. Turning to the second point, the basic message, I think we can summarize Mary's message in, in two words um, to what she said to the children. Prayer and penance, to pray for poor sinners, as she said, and to do penance or to make sacrifices in order to help uh, in the salvation of souls. If we can forget that in the modern era, we can forget to pray for our loved ones, begging God to have mercy on their souls and to help them towards salvation. And penance is something almost totally forgotten in, in the modern era, but Mary's words are still important to us today. Uh, to make sacrifices in, in whatever way we can uh, for poor sinners. Um, the need is no less greater now than it was in the time of uh, Jacinta and Francisco and, and Lucia. So we ask our, our Lady as we stand in the very place where she appeared to, to help us to truly trust Jesus, his Son, who is, who is God, to give our entire life, our entire attention to whatever Jesus asks us and to be very conscious of our duty to pray for others and to do penance for others. So we stand now to bring our prayers before our Lord. For all the faithful, that by obeying the appeals of Mary in a spirit of true penance and prayer, they may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they be attentive to the word of God, love it and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm, as Mary did. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who govern nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world, 
and harmoniously collaborate in the just distribu distribution of earthly goods among all the inhabitants of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, consoler of the afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the contemplation of the cross of Christ, they may find courage to face life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us present here and for our families, for our nation and for our city, that by the intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him, sinners may be converted, young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask Our Lady of Fatima to pray with us and for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God of infinite goodness, attentive to the supplication of your people, and with the prayers of Mary, Mother of your Son, and Mother of the Church, to help us, listen to our pleas and increase our faith to Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, we offer you these gifts of reparation and of praise, so that in celebrating this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you may absolve us from our sins and guide our wavering hearts to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks as we celebrate the feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary and praise you for your gifts. She, receiving your word in her immaculate heart, merited to conceive him in her virginal womb. And, and in giving birth to the creator of the world, she prepared the birth of the church. She, in receiving at the foot of the cross the testament of divine charity, received all men as her children, born to eternal life through the death of Christ. She, when the apostles were, waiting, were awaiting the coming of the Holy Spirit, the promised one, united her, her supplications to the prayers of the disciples and thus became the model of the suppliant church. She, then finally elevated to the glory of heaven, surrounds with her maternal love the pilgrim church and lovingly directs their steps to the heavenly dwelling place under the glorious coming of the Lord. And so, with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. To this, in memory of me. The mystery of faith. This bread, I drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, the Bishop of this region, Bishop Peter, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and all and, all, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, when we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, our mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honour is yours forever and ever. By the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom of God. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. 
the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord, having received with joy these heavenly sacraments, grant us, we pray you, that they may lead us to eternal life, where we may rejoice forever with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.